Welcome back. We're focusing this morning on the Fonterra contamination scare. Now we're going to get the reaction from Chris Claridge. He's the managing director of Carrick Moore Nutrition. He uh, exports infant formula and milk powder to China. Hello, Mr. Claridge. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, what impact is the scare having on your business right now? At this stage, Rachel, I have a million dollars worth of product being manufactured. I have a million dollars sitting worth of product sitting in the port in Shanghai. I have product on the shelves of 2,100 retailers and I have 25,000 babies that I feed in China. So my product is in 25,000 homes. So you're not selling though at the moment, are you? Is what's, it... what's happened is that there's been immense stress caused to my consumers in China. Uh, they were concerned as to whether or not they were uh, their babies were consuming contaminated product. So what I'm now seeing is direct impact on our capacity to sell in China. Our forward projections of what we're going to sell over the next few months is we're going to immediately have a drop of approximately 30% in retail sales. And we are going to struggle to maintain our presence on the shelves in China. We think, given the team that we've got in China, we're, they're working in amazingly hard to restore confidence in our brand, uh, but this has had a serious impact. OK, what's been the response then from within China, uh, not just your brand, but in terms of, um, the, you know, are, are consumers phoning, you know, your customer line? What's happening? I have 35 staff in China, a wonderful team working on the Carrickmore brand. Uh, they've been inundated with phone calls. I've had consumers go to retail stores and force them to remain open for two hours past their closing time so that they could get appropriate reassurance that the product that their baby was consuming was safe. This has had a serious impact. Do you really know, or do you think we really know, what has happened and what triggered this contamination scare? We're not, we're, I'm not exactly sure what's happened, but let me take you through Clostridium very quickly. Clostridium uh, to test for Clostridium is a $25 test, $25. It then takes two days to get a result back. You then pay a further $100 for Clostridium botulinum and that takes 15 days to get a result back. You then can test whether or not that Clostridium botulinum had toxicity and that's a 24-hour test. This is a relatively simple exercise to do. I and other exporters, collectively feeding 250,000 babies in China, are having to go back and retest every batch that we've made since May 2012 in order to prove to our consumers in China that our products are safe. This has had an amazingly serious impact on our ability to trade in China. What does the government have to do now then? The government has to work with the relative the, so, sorry, the government has to work with the industry sector groups to reassure Chinese officials, the wonderful team that they have in CIQ and CCIT that we've been working so closely with to maintain access to this market, they must work with us to reassure the relevant government officials in China that our products are safe. All right, Chris Claridge, Managing Director of Carrickmore, thank you.